Hi folks, we're back with more Rivet Training and today we're going to look at how to create MEP schedules. Uh, so we looked at a little bit about uh, Cable Trade in a previous video and this is going back to that project that we worked on earlier, commercial building. So here we've got our level 1 HVAC floor plan. So to create a, a mechanical schedule is just like what we've been doing previously. Uh, you go to your view tab here and schedules and quantities. Select here. And then uh, you have these categories. For this, let's go and look at mechanical equipment. say okay and then we'll have various fields here that we can select from um, River has a pretty nice database uh, we've got all these different fields so here I always of course we want to pick family and type uh, for this project that we worked on then we'll say levels here um, no, I would start to give the count. Um, let's see what else can we put in there for mechanical equipment. We can add manufacturer and then certain other things here. You can add, well for this, this not too much or cost. We don't know those things. So I'm going to just say okay here. And then we have our schedule here of our mechanical equipment. So here I can drag these over. As you can see. Okay. So now uh, what I'm going to do is go and edit these fields you can just select it here in the properties tab here and I might want to move this up uh, might want to move level there I don't know and then um, there's not that much mechanical equipment we'll probably look at something else after this you want to might want to add comments and say okay and that's a little better and then uh, we'll go back into our schedule sheet from this project uh -oh. and actually I want to show you a few things here extra here I think we may have done this before we can look at these uh, fields here and we can do our sort and group and we can look at formatting we might want to um, adjust these to center and you can do it horizontal or whatever we like uh, so I'm going to just go okay now let's do both of these let's do all these of center here so this is just a little bit of flexibility we have here you might want to make these center justified justify. And I'll say OK here, apply, and OK. So there's my mechanical schedule, and then I'll go back to my schedules here on this sheet. And we'll go into our project browser. I'll go down to my schedules. And there it is right there. And I might just want to drag and drop it right here. So that's one of my, uh, and then, you know, I can adjust this either here. I could have did this. Well, yeah, this is good. That fits just right. And then, um, 
we can go and do other schedules because we got our doors here, uh, windows. But we for a uh, commercial building, we need all these, of course. So since we did the lighting, let's go and look at our light lighting. So um, same deal. We'll just go down to uh, view here, schedules, schedules and quantities. And we'll go down to lighting fixtures. Somewhere here. Okay. Hey, lighting fixtures. Okay. So now here we get a few more things. Uh, I think we can. Um, schedule so with our lighting fixtures let's go with uh well a lot of fields here to choose from always family and family type that's always a good one to start with and count but we'll add that if, and then uh, have to really kind of go through this There's a lot of data here, but you gotta have a good balance with all this information. I'm trying to some, find something that we would have the information. Uh, but here, oh, I'm gonna add level, of course. Sorry, take so long here. Um, size would be good if I can find that. Cost, barrel size. Nope, mark. Okay, so I'm going to just say okay here, and there's my lighting fixture schedule. Okay, we did have watch, that's good. So again, oh great. <laughs> so like I said, it's always good to show the family and family type. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just go back into my properties field here and edit these fields, and I'm going to move this up. Now I'm going to move count first, and I'm going to go OK here, and that looks pretty good, so I'll go back to my sheet schedules, and I'll go to my project browser, and I'll go and bring in my lighting fixture schedule. So hey guys, uh, uh oh, got a little adjusting to do here because we got a lot of lights here. So I'm going to fix this up. Uh, it's a pretty simple thing to do here. You can kind of actually, wow, let's uh, let's do some sorting and grouping right quick for this something like this. You get too many of them. Okay, okay, if it lets me. Okay, so. Okay. Let's go on my lighting fixture schedule here. Uh, sorting and grouping. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna itemize every instance. Uh, I'm gonna get grand totals here, and I'm gonna say okay. Okay, so we got 128 different light fixtures. That's why it's doing that. So we can do something with that a bit later. But for now, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we put uh, a couple schedules together. Uh, we'll go and do our other schedules for quantification, kind of do it more MEP. So, hey, folks, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. It helps me make videos like this all the time. Everybody be safe. Bye.